Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Nexus TV. My name is Kai Knight, and uh, I went and tried to find a co-caster, but couldn't find anyone. So, <laughs> so unfortunately, you're all stuck with me again. But anyways, this is map number three between Kazakhstan and Bulgaria. Kazakhstan, they won map number one, and then Bulgaria won map number two, which was of course Nuke, whilst map number one was Mirage. So here we have Dust 2, which really, Dust 2 is just one of those maps which which can go either way really. It's not as tactical as other maps because everyone knows it better like than their own house kind of thing. I can admit to knowing Dust 2 better than I know my own house. So uh, I, I, someone asked me who I thought would win. I said 16-14 in favour of Kazakhstan and on paper probably Bulgaria are a better side. I think Kazakhstan have better aimers and they come across as more of, of a mixed team. And we've all we've all like played in CSGO games where you're in a team and then you come up against a team of mixers who do just completely random BS on Dust 2 and that always seems to work better than the actual team kind of tactic. So let's just see how it unfolds. So Bulgaria, well, they look like they're definitely going to rush right into this B-bomb, so MN Cop takes one down, and uh, Spy Leader gets in on some of the action, and well, Kazakhstan, probably like 10 seconds in, have uh, conceded a bomb plant. Oh, full screen, my bad, my bad, oh dear, I always forget to do that, my bad, oh, here we go, so the bomb's down on B, on the terrorists, they've just got to stay cool, calm, and collective and protect it. It's three against two, make that three against one, and uh, down goes Jose Mourinho, or Moo for short. I like to call him Jose Mourinho. So 1-0 Bulgaria, beat us two. Well, this is something that's discussed quite a lot. Probably somewhat 55-45 T-sided. So no surprise really that the terrorists have gone and taken the uh, pistol round. We have to see how Kazakhstan are going to uh, adapt playing against these big, big guns. They, of course, they're stuck with P250s. Go on there with just a P2000. They've, well, they've opted to put no one in being They're all pushing up mid now. Spectre goes down. But despite going down, managed to take Koran out with that grenade. Bubble with that Mac 10 Managed to take down Moo. The one kill isn't going to be enough, I'm afraid. So two versus three. And I'll tell you what, for an eco round, this hasn't been bad at all from Kazakhstan. They're probably going to lose it, unless Adren, of course, can uh, pull off the impossible with this silenced USP. But taking out two terrorists on an eco round, and maybe if Adren can just, you know, perhaps nick a third, not a bad round at all for them. So, Bulgaria need to get the bomb down. Hello. Surely Adren's going to get the bomb down. Yes, there it is. Headshot from MN Comp, and uh, exactly what we expected. 2-0 Bulgaria. So, we uh, still have weapons on uh, the Bulgarian side, but Kazakhstan have gone for the early buy. And they, uh, they're looking to punish Kazakhstan for doing that, and at the moment they most certainly are. They find themselves one man up, but Moo, oh, with the scout again. Moo is the master of sniper rifles. There's no other way to put it. He's brilliant. I don't think I have seen, I've ever seen a better sniper than him. I'm not even joking. I've never even heard of this guy, Moo. But someone sign him up to a decent side because he's playing brilliantly with sniper rifles. And I think we have a pause. Do we have a pause? I think we do. Or has my internet crashed? No, my internet's fine, so we have a pause for whatever reason. Buy, scout, kill all. Yeah, that's definitely what it comes across like, isn't it? He's, he's brilliant. He's brilliant with sniper, sniper rifles.
Oh, here we go, unpaused, and uh, let's get back into the game. So Tarantula, he's been spotted in B, he's going to fall back now. As MN Comp tries to push short, he's going to have Koran's FAMAS to deal with. But the AK wins over the FAMAS any day of the week. So, Moose stood on a ramp. But despite that, the rest of the terrorists are going to go uh, in the opposite direction. And they're staying away from Moo. Which is something I would greatly suggest. So Rafa Benitez onto Spy Leader. Two versus one now. Rafa's all by himself. He knows he's surrounded. He's trying to fall back and take out MN Comp. I think he is, but MN Comp without a doubt will have heard him. The FAMAS is going to take him down. And are we going to see a clutch now? Two, well, it was two versus one. Now it's one versus one. Tarantula's hiding behind the door and he's going to land the shot. Eventually he took his time, but a kill's a kill and Bulgaria are three nil up. And Kazakhstan, they went for the early bite, but unfortunately for them it didn't pay off for them. To be fair, the last time an early buy paid off for Kazakhstan was back on map number one, which of course was the right. So, uh, so yeah, make it on what you will. I don't think we've seen uh, any third round just yet on both maps where both teams haven't got early buy. So hopefully Bulgaria won't early buy the next third round. They'll keep things uh, changing because at the moment they probably think they're trying to surprise the other team, but in reality. They've done it so much, I think both teams are starting to really expect it. Or maybe it has something to do with uh, the uh, Counter-Strike ideology of some of the players in that specific part of the world. So we can see that Adren has indeed left the game. So that's probably where the pause kicked in and he is now back. So uh, Bulgaria with a typical eco bash. They just split all over the map and uh, well did what we expected of them really so now we finally have a buy around from both sides with the terrorists off two spectres going towards tunnels bubbles chilling at mid and no, nothing no, nothing out of the ordinary but spectre look where he is if he gets spotted with the bomb then it could cause problems for both bulgaria and kazakhstan a lot of problems of course if he were to die with the bomb see he's playing relatively passive one in b one on b ramp one just uh, they're, they're not all in short so uh, you know, that could uh, be, uh, well, leave that A-bomb site wide open for the Bulgarians. Just going to have to wait and see what happens. Spectre still has the bomb, though, in upper tunnels. So if they are going to try and hit the A-bomb site, they're going to need Spectre to change his position sometime soon. So here comes the mid to be pushed. You could see Spectre pushing in from offers, but MN Com, we're concentrating on him for now. He's going to take Rafa Benitez down as Adren tries to get something through the smoke. Tarantula's hearing one of the CTs rotating, takes him out. Good stuff from Bulgaria and Kazakhstan. They're a lost cause at the moment. But Mu is still alive. Mu, Jose Mourinho with the magical AWP. The first kill on to MN Comp. And it's three on two. Adren, dead man standing, dead man walking at the moment, only five HP. And he most certainly doesn't look like they're going to go and uh, attempt for this retake. Mu, he's got that expensive big green gun, or in his case, it's a big orange gun. And I don't think he'll want to lose it. Just about lost it, thanks to Bubble, but he is going to live to fight another day. And as the bomb ticks, we are going to jump into round number six. Oh no, Moo got killed. Moo got killed from long. And uh, Adren, who was on 5 HP, funnily enough, stayed alive. So, Adren was left on 5 HP. And Bulgaria have 5 rounds. 5 nil to Bulgaria as it stands right now. Bulgaria, they can probably afford a tank by now. The amount of uh, rounds they've got under their belt. The CTs, they've gone. They've forced to buy, actually. This is interesting. Keen uh, has an AK from somewhere. It must have been the AK Adren managed to save from the last round. Adren's dropped that AK course to Keen, and he's gone for an M4. One thing that worries me about Mu is that every time we have a somewhat of a of a deco round kind of thing going on from uh, Kazakhstan, he seems to buy a scout. Now, we know he's really good with a scout, but can he actually rifle? I'd like to see what Mu's like with an M4 or AK. <laughs> Push the flag, it's on. Down goes Koran. And that important first frag for Bulgaria is now under Spectre's doubt. Mu. Oh, <laughs> lovely shot from Mu. Two shots from Mu. Is he going to make it a hat trick? No, he's not. But Mu, Mu is lord of the scout. 
How does he do it? I don't know. There's the hat trick from him. In all my years of playing Counter Strike, and that uh, that's probably around six years, be it 1.6 or Source or even the old 1.5 days, I have never seen a better sniper, a better scouter in my life than that man right there, Moo. I don't know how he does it. He just lands headshots for fun. How many hours does that take practicing? It must take hours and hours just practicing to, you know, get your muscle memory right to aim right uh, at heads. We've got some people suggesting that Moo should replace Adren in Astana, and there it is again. He died, but a scout headshot. Never before in my life have I seen anyone scout the same way this guy does. I think he heard me talking about um, uh, his lack of uh, regular rifle usage. But hey, why do you need to use uh, AKs and M4s when you can headshot like that? But anyways, 4 versus 2 now. And let's see how keen he is to get this frag. Definitely somewhat keen. He's going to drop that M4 for an AK before falling to his death. And Adren, the Astana Dragons man, is the last man standing. He's in CT spawn on 17 HP. Spectre has got his crosshair on him. And we'll deal with him accordingly. 6-1. So, like I said, I was expecting Kazakhstan to maybe win. But I believe they lost the knife round and... Uh, I think DDoS 2. Again, like I said, mixed teams can often surprise you on DDoS 2, come up with abnormalities. And Moo's definitely one of those abnormalities. <laughs> there he is again. He just. I mean, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Moo is just blowing through because I can. Blowing tell you what guys I'm just gonna stay quiet and let's just stand here let's just stay sat down here watching the god of counter strike in Moo there it is again look three scout kills for Moo I don't know what to say I'm too surprised to say anything about it I'm tempted to call hacks but <laughs> anyways let's calm down and stop jizzing over Moo's scout skills and uh, Concentrate back on the game and concentrate on Spectre's AK skills. Two from Spectre. It was 4v1, but now it's two versus one, and they know where he is. He's uh, got the bomb on his shoulders, and he's making his way towards that A bomb site. Where are you, Spectre? There he is. But he's got the hurdle of Moo to deal with first in CT spawn. Let's have a look at Moo. Oh, there it is. Four man from Moo. Why does he even... Is he going to drop the scout for an orb? No, he's keeping it. He's keeping the scout. Like, he treats... He makes that scout look like an orb, doesn't he? It's like an, a, a, a much lighter orb. I've never heard of this guy, but I think he's the best sniper I've ever seen in my all years of playing Counter-Strike. Honest to God. Take a bow, Moo. But anyways, this is Kazakhstan versus Bulgaria, not the Moo show, so... Uh, Let's start concentrating on what Bulgaria can do to try and stay in the lead. So the terrorists, three at mid, Spectre once again in B, and uh, Tehran stood outside the lock. Smiley didn't get that return kill, and finally drops Mu. And Kazakhstan without Mu, are pretty much like, well, uh, a baby without his bottle of milk. Pretty damn useless. So, four versus three. watching long and the terrorists well they could well Spectre the problem is Spectre stuck stuck in, stuck near the B-bomb site by himself Tarantula could easily take long I think we're probably going to see a fake A and then a mid to B push perhaps finally he's going to fall to his death Rafa's making his way down towards double doors who's going to get the kill it is going to be Rafa 3 versus 2 Tarantula they were a man ahead now it's 2-2 two, two. it's level the uh, Adreno Tarantula is pushing up long deals with him accordingly. Now Spectre's in beat. You can most certainly hear that very loud AK-47 of his. And the good news for Bulgarian fans watching is that the bomb's going to go down. So Spectre peak window. 
Don't know why he does that. He's uh, definitely expecting Rafa to come through tunnels. And if he can manage... No, he's picked away at the wrong time, but he's going to take a drain out. And Rafa's only on 18 HP. Spectre himself is on 15 HP. Play it cool and calm, Spectre. I think... Well, Spectre's got to go... Well, Spectre's got to be blamed for that. I think he played it all wrong. I think he, he did he did well to jump out onto B ramp and take out Adren. But why not wait for the defuse to begin? And well, uh, he just cost Bulgaria another important round. 6 3, and the comeback is uh, somewhat on. And Mourinho or Moo has bought up and up. So let's see whether he can work any more of his Moo magic here on Dust 2. Look at how aggressive he is. Look, he's. Oh, I thought he was going to get the pick at lowers then. Obviously, Auto Director thought otherwise. So, with the terrorists, they're waiting outside along. They've already got two on short. Because Moo went so aggressive. He unfortunately couldn't take out any of the terrorists going short. So Keen is just going to hold the angle of long. As Adren holds off Spy Leader very well. And there's the orb shot from Moo. And the terrorists, hello, hello, they're making their way into long. Are they going to check that corner? They do. And it's four versus three now. Three make it three versus three. Make it two versus three. Tarantula with two. And there's two versus three. And the uh, crossover area is being smoked. Tarantula's going to get his hat trick for sure, is he not? Maybe not. Spectre's going to get that frag. And he is going to finish off the last Kazakhstan player. 7-3. That round was a, it was an interesting round. Was it? Without a doubt. it was a bit of a mess, but, you know, a win's a win. Doesn't matter how you win a round. Advantages, of course, which come uh, from winning a round financially. Do help you a lot in the long run. So, uh, so you prefer none of your teammates to die when you do win round, but you know, a win's a win. So it's still five on five. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. News, news as usual. He's had two four mans already with that lovely scout of his. <laughs> Again, I feel absolutely speechless. He has uh, 13 kills to eight deaths. Adren, the Astana man, with six kills, four deaths. Rafa, finally, uh, for once, he's not bottom fragging with five kills and nine deaths. Koron with two kills, ten deaths, and Keen, uh, oh, with exactly the same score. As far as uh, the Bulgarians are concerned, Spectres on top of the scoreboard for them with 13 kills, seven deaths. Tarantula with 13 kills, three deaths, a very nice KD ratio. Bubble with seven kills, Cop with eight, and Spy Leader with five. So Tarantula just increases tally to 14 kills. And Spectre will uh, bring in round number eight and increase Bulgaria's tally to eight rounds. So good stuff so far. Someone mentioned whether it was a pause or a DDoS attack. Um, no, it was a pause. But yeah, I mean, there have been a lot of interest in uh, DDoS attacks going on in the CS scene. Uh, anyway, I just noticed that Moo has the scout in hand, so uh, I've taken Auto Director off, and all I want to do is watch my man right here, my main man, Moo. Oh, he missed that shot. Come on, Moo, you can do it. No! Unfortunately, it wasn't Moo's round. Despite what we've seen from him previously, he wasn't able to pull off the magic with the scout that time. Yet. So, three on three. The good news for the uh, Bulgarians watching is that the bomb is going down. Which leaves Kazakhstan three versus two in their favour. Three versus one. Koron is the last man standing, so he's going to try and push up short. He's taken down Bubble. That made a little bit of damage on his spy leader. He missed the first few shots, but fortunately for him, he made up for it, to give Bulgaria their ninth round on the board. So we are going to see a deco, I believe, for Kazakhstan, which really should leave things at 10-3 in favour. No, we're, we're, well, yeah, we're seeing a deco from Kazakhstan, but Mu once again has that scout. So come on, Mu, let's be having you. It's been knocked down to 18 HP, but I have faith in Mu. Oh, no. This wasn't meant to be for me, was it? So Bubba with two already. Three versus three. Not a bad eco round, actually, or deco round. Keen's managed to get an AK. He's got the AK. He's got to have to pull that piece of 50 out. He's going to get one. Oh, but ran out of ammo. But Rafa was right behind him. And Kazakhstan just might win this eco round, which won't be disastrous for Bulgaria, but I'm sure they would prefer to uh, not lose the round, of course. So Keen... Wow, he's, he's missing these crucial shots, but gets it in the end. 
for um, the, the three man from Keane helping uh, his team's cause. As Kazakhstan step one step closer to that important five or six round mark. I think if Kazakhstan can't manage six rounds now, they can't manage nine six. Assuming Bulgaria have a good CT side, well, not a good CT side, a relatively decent CT side even, um, uh, we probably will see Bulgaria victorious. And of course, going 1 0 down after losing Mirage, which was the first match. So, MN Comp is going to get first blood onto Koran, which leaves the Kazakhstanis a man down. Let's be having your Bulgaria, where you go, Inspector again. He likes taking that bomb B, doesn't he? Fortunately for him, though, the way Rafa plays is very defensive, so. A he hasn't been able to spot sector Spectre and B Bulgaria haven't lost the bomb on the opposite side of the map. So Mu once again level things up and that's something he's done quite often with his sniper rifles actually. He's such a crucial player for Kazakhstan. Dare I say it, he's been more of a crucial player for them than uh, Adrian has been. So the mid to be push commences. Minkov will take down a dread. to be push will begin but Bubble's got a CT behind so he's got to get a move on down goes Rafa and Bubble definitely the third Keen coming right behind him and B ramp and he finishes him off textbook stuff from Bulgaria easy peasy 11 squeezy 10 4 and like I said if Kazakhstan can't at least get 5 round I said, I said they needed 6 but just to give him a glimmer of hope they need 5 now because 11 4 for them is still uh, possible on uh, T side, if they of course go and lose this, they'll need 12-3, which 12 rounds to Kazakhstan on T side does too. It's possible when Moo's pulling off shots like that. I am not even joking. He is better with a scout than he is with an up. Uh, this game has just turned. It's not Kazakhstan versus Bulgaria. It's the Moo show. There's no. That's what it is. It's the Moo show. All I want to do is spectate him, and look, the rest of his team have scouts as well, and Koron's going to get a scout shot. Kazakhstan <laughs> are the scouting nation of CS though. So two versus one, and like I said, Kazakhstan really need this round on the board. Ruff is down to 10 HP, he's going to try and push this A-bomb site now. Bubble's going to hear the call, and the plant was for long, I believe, so... Rafa is going to make his move towards the A bomb site, but he is, as uh, probably expected, going to die. And at 11 4, I personally don't see any way back in it for Kazakhstan, but hey, Counter Strike, you never know what might happen. And we are going to jump into the second half. go he goes nothing let's go and take a look at Moo because he's an absolute legend and if he don't get voted as man of the match on HLTV then I will eat my hat live on stream but anyways shit I probably shouldn't have said that but anyways Moo's making his way <laughs> into this B bomb site the bomb's gonna go down Spectre's been uh, tagged down to 4 HP already so it's looking good for uh, the Kazakhstanis they've got that important plant now and all they have to do is just play cool calm and collective and make sure Adren pulls off shots like that Keen with two already, Spidey the surely it's only going to be a consolation for him. Keen with his third, but couldn't get the fourth. Terrorists win. 11-5. Very, very, very solid pistol round actually from Kazakhstan. I was 100% sure about it. It didn't look like Bulgaria actually had any players in B. So it was an easy plant for Kazakhstan. And well, you know, Bulgaria being in the dominant position that they currently are in in this map, they really... You know, I'm pretty sure they would have liked to not lose this uh, open round. But oh well. Still a lot of time to make sure, well, Kazakhstan, they're six rounds behind, you know, six rounds is a big, decent gap. So, there's one man down already, but if Dred's going to get one, he's going to get two. Is he going to make it three? They know he's at lowers. And the CTs are going to go all aggressive on him. Spy leader onto Keen, three versus two. Not a bad anti-eco round for, for Bulgaria, actually. But now that Adren and Co are uh, picking up these... AK-47s and these MP5s and these Mac-10s and well, Adren's got an, an AK-47 even. 
leave much luck for Spy Leader, who was on 4 HP with merely a P2000, and that was uh, emphasised by their dominance in that last round. 3 versus 1. 11 6. But again, Kazakhstan, uh, Bulgaria, sorry, dealt a decent amount of damage, so uh, won't be too downhearted. They uh, finally, I think they were listening to what I was saying, they haven't gone for that early buy round. They are still on pistol, so here goes nothing. They're going to try and take long. But Corin is going to try and take B, and this time Bulgaria, the good news is they've learned from their mistakes, and they're finally playing two inside the B bomb site to make sure Kazakhstan don't rush in there with uh, submachine guns. So here goes nothing. Koran onto MN Comp, and they still have one more to deal with, and Koran deals with him uh, perfectly. So the CT's rotating. Are they going to rotate to this uh, B bomb site? They only have P250s, so is it worth saving P250s? Well, only they can uh, answer that question. So Rafa with the uh, Super UMP onto Bubble. The Tarantula is the last one to get pushed to MBK. Keen deals with him well. So, Kazakhstan, exactly what the doctor ordered for them. Being 11 uh, 11 4 down at the end of the first half. They've gone and won these next three, these first three rounds in the second half, which is good for them. So, 11 7, it doesn't look too bad, but now. This is where the real questions are going to be asked by Bulgaria to Kazakhstan. Obviously, the T side, Kazakhstan, and Mu with the AWP there. There's a shot from Mu. Who is this guy? Why is he not being picked up by a pro team? His sniping has been absolutely superb throughout throughout all three matches. Uh, I might put a good word in at uh, in Nexus and see if they can build a team around Mu's sniping uh, skills. So, yeah, Kazakhstan one man up. And if Kazakhstan managed to win this round, it'll be looking uh, good for them. Uh, the comeback will look like it just might be on. But again, it's too early to predict anything just yet. Spectre has the Oort Sniper and Bubbles is going to be in for a fright of his life. But deals with it very well. He dropped a Dren. He's not playing very well on this too, he has to be said. And there's the second kill of the round from Mu. And he just might get a third onto MS Cop. Oh, he just missed it. take the bomb. corin has been killed at long so it's now 3 versus 2 but on this B bomb site it is actually 3 versus 1 so they're gonna track down MN Cop but in the meantime we're gonna have a pause whoop de doo here we go we're back so and Comp took down one, two from MN Comp, and he just might clutch this off by himself. And we have another pause. Way pauses. So in the meantime, as uh, we've got a pause going, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Tarantula, 18 kills, 8 deaths. Followed by Spectre in second place, 14 kills, 14 deaths. Then comes Smile Eater with 12 kills, 13 deaths. Then MN Cop, who just uh, might pull off this, well, what was a uh, 3 versus 1 clutch on this B-bomb site. With 16 kills, 13 deaths. And Bubble is on a KDR of 1 with 14 kills and 14 deaths. Mu for Kazakhstan, 20 kills, 15 deaths. Rafa with 11 kills, 13 deaths. Adren in third place with 11 kills, 10 deaths. Keen and Koron on 9 kills, 17 deaths. Whilst Koron's on 8 kills, 16 deaths. So Rafa's going to try and take on MN Comp. And uh, the clutch wasn't meant to be. So Tarantz is making his way in from B tunnels and lands that important shot. Very important round for Bulgaria. And Tarantula is looking for a kit. Oh, he already has one. And there's the defuse. 12 7 for Bulgaria. And they're edging closer to emerging victorious out of this game. Four more rounds is all they need. But you know what, guys? 
Look who's got an AWP. It's this man right here, Moo. There it is. You see? You see, I'm telepathic. I knew that Moo was going to get it too from Moo. And Moo explodes for Kazakhstan. This man's sniping skills is just a joy to behold. I keep saying this, but I've never seen someone AWP as well as he does. And believe me, i played this game for a very long time, and I've watched a lot of AWPers. And Moo is... out of this world. Fair enough, he's playing against Bulgaria. It'll be interested to see how he does against maybe, maybe, you know, better opposition, but... You know, from what we've seen so far, it's pretty darn decent. So, two versus two, they know Bubbles at long. They're gonna run away from him. Mo Moose is in this awkward position with that orb, but tell you what, we know what he can do, and that's exactly what he can do. 90 degree spin. One versus one. Moo versus MCOM. And Moo doesn't miss from there. Headshot as well to rub it into the Bulgarians. 12 8 the scoreline. And Moo, you know, if it wasn't for Moo. Kazakhstan would have been long and gone by now. 12 8. And Moose only just gone and uh, tagged MN Cop through the door. This man, this man. I love this guy. I'm probably turning into a bit of a Moo fanboy at the moment. <laughs> Anyways, concentrate, Kai Knight. Concentrate. Back into the game. So, the CTs, they're eco in. They've, well, more of a deco really with P250s. You know, Koron's in there. And uh, are they gonna. Kill him? Almost, but uh, they got the tag. But unfortunately, he didn't deal enough damage to get the frag. So, four versus five. I just might get a cheeky kill here. He does. And Bulgaria, well, they've. <laughs> it's not the first eco round they've won. And at the moment, it looks like it's uh, well in their favour. The bomb's going to go down this B bomb site. That's the good news. And where are these CTs going to rotate from? Bubble. Has that AK and MNCOM has an AK, so it's not too bad. I'm not sure what gun Spy Leader has. Let's go and have a look at him. He's only got a USP. Moo's gonna land that AWP shot, and you really don't want to be pushing this B bomb site when Moo's got his crosshair on you or his scope on you. You can't. You don't have a crosshair on your sniper rifle, but you know you get what I mean. So Keen's gonna watch double. Uh, gonna watch tunnels. Bubble's gonna take him out, and now it's all down to Jose Mourinho. But you know they call Jose Mourinho. They say he's the special one. Moo's definitely been the special one for Kazakhstan in this game. But uh, not special enough that round. But despite that, Kazakhstan still won. So uh, you know what they say: don't be a tit, buy a kit. But I don't think Bulgaria will be too downhearted by losing that eco round. Hey, there's still three rounds up, and uh, they did very well to, to knock out all terrorists, considering the fact they were only on pistols. And uh, they probably were always going to lose a round. And uh, now they're a man down. It's not really going to make life any easier, thanks to Moo the Magic Man. So come on, Auto Director, let's have a look at the Dren. So with Dren slowly making his way into this B bomb site as he wipes the floor with MN Cop, thanks to that lovely Galil of his. He trades it for a uh, M4 Spy Leader. Gets an, it's surely going to be a consolation onto Rafa Tarantula as well. A three versus two. This could be winnable actually for Bulgaria. So the bomb's down in B, of course. Oh no, it's not down just yet. It is going to be down now. Bubble's going to drop Keen, and it is going to be two versus two. Bubble gets dropped in tunnels. Adren now. Can he use all those years of experience to uh, win round number 10 for Kazakhstan? Oh well, yeah. Well, it didn't take much of Adren's experience, but uh, a round's a round. Tarantula has decided to save this AK 47. And sitting T spawn. He's just examining his weapon. He's picked it up, of course, off uh, Koran, who's one of the dead Kazakhstani terrorist players. There we have it. Win. Has to be said that Moose, Moose sniping ability really has turned this game around for Kazakhstan. Some people might think I'm, you know, brown nosing Moo, but he, honestly, he has been terrific. And I don't normally go into HLTV and vote for certain players to be men of matches, but like, Moo is going to get my vote, I can guarantee that, he's been superb. And uh, anyone from Anexus, if you're watching, <laughs> sign him up. So, Koron with first blood, two from Koron, through the smoke as well, very, very uh, good work from him. And he's going to start with this short push now, he's going to have Bubble to deal with, he might make it a hat-trick of frags for himself. And he most certainly does. 
bog standard anti eco. Can't say that Bulgaria made life uh, much easier. Uh, made life very difficult for Kazakhstan. And at 12 11, Kazakhstan could very well fight their way back into this. You know, I said uh, at 11 4 down after the first half, Kazakhstan needed 12 3, which in my opinion would have been miraculous. But at 7 1 at the moment, it is possible. And obviously, winning seven rounds in a row, I believe they've won seven rounds in a row. Maybe it's five or th Oh, ho, ho! one Galil from Rafa through double doors there. And Mu rounds it off with the orb shot at long. Magical. These Kazakhstani players. You know, I'm just going to stay quiet. I, you know, uh, speechless. Just as it looks like they're going to lose the game, they come up with this, and there's another kill. And Bulgaria, they were 12 3 up coming into this second half, and it's going to be 12 12. <laughs> Spy leader and Spectre, the last counter terrorist standing. Surely they're going to look to save these uh, M4s. Or at least you'd hope so, but then again, 5 versus 2, there's a high, pop, high probability that at least one of them's going to fall and get tracked down by one of the Kazakhstanis. Adren tracked down Spy Leader. The Spy Leader took him down instead. There's another exit frag from Spectre, and uh, yeah, not bad from Bulgaria. They've, they've dealt damage to Kazakhstan. Is Rafa going to get a kill here? He's most certainly not. So good exit frags. Good exit frags from uh, Bulgaria. But uh, round of applause to Rafa. You know, uh, I gave him a lot of stick. I'd like to apologise for that on the first and second map because, well, he was bottom fragging. He wasn't playing very well. But, you know, he really has turned his game around here on Dust2. He's, you know, he's, he's not top fragging. He's not bottom fragging, you know. He's got 13 kills and 19 deaths. And, well, uh, if he keeps pulling off one gallows through double doors, I, I, I will complain. So... Fire around from both sides. Corrin's going to get first blood. These uh, CTs. Uh, no, Bubble's going to stay at long. Actually, I was going to say all of them. I thought all of them were going to rotate. So, with Dren's main, he's went on to short already. He's dropped down. And he's going to get that cheap frag onto Tarantula before Spy Leader brings him down. The bad news now for Bulgaria is that they know Spy Leader's on the A bomb site. And that's portrayed with uh, the movement now of the terrorists. They're moving towards this B bomb site. And MN Cop, of course, who is the CT on the B bomb site, is only on 19 HP. And down he goes. 4 2. And Kazakhstan have a chance to take the lead now. Bubble is all by himself. Where are you, Bubble? Poor you. I wish he could stick himself in a bubble at the moment and float over to the B bomb site and uh, perhaps defuse that bomb using the bubble to cover him. But, you know, it's not always meant to be. And I can't believe it. You know, I, I first. I predicted 16 14 to Kazakhstan. And 12-3 to Bulgaria, it really did not seem like it could have been a possibility. But, <laughs> Kazakhstan, well, you know, they've, they've, they've pulled the comeback off now. And they haven't just tied it up, they are in the lead. So, if they can build on this uh, and win the game, fair play to them. And, uh, they, of course, they were the underdogs going into this, so... So yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see whether Bulgaria can finally counter these uh, Kazakhstanis. It looks like they uh, are on an eco. Maybe the CTs. Yeah, there's no, no. They're on a mixed buy. They're on a mixed buy. The CTs have mixed bought. Tarantula has a famas, but uh, Bulgaria have an AWP on Spy Leader, which is something we haven't seen very often. So we've now got an AWP on Mu for the terrorists and an AWP on Spy Leader for the counter terrorists. Things are starting to get exciting now. We could see a uh, mid to be push. The bomb, of course, is still at mid. That was a very poor circle by me. There it is. Hadren's being flashed. And Keen is keen on uh, perhaps uh, infiltrating this B bomb site. Hadren's made himself heard. Oh, 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 the flick shot from him. But Spectre managed to uh, change his uh, complexion of things just in the nick of time. We have one of the CPs pushing out along. Moo's going to get that frag onto Bubble in CT spawn, and Keen's going to get takedown Spectre, and Spy Leader, along with that AWP, is all by himself, and technically helpless. I think he's going to save this AWP, but, you know, we've seen Bulgaria save, I think, maybe two or three rounds in a row now, or at least attempt to save, and, you know, guys, you can keep saving, but, uh, firstly, you were 12-3 up, and now you're going to be 14-12 down. 
So Bulgaria, they need to take a long, hard look at themselves. It's all good saving. Obviously, the Orps are an expensive gun, and yeah, I agree with this decision on saving. But, you know, I, I'm starting to get the feeling now that Bulgaria need to change something up if they are to rescue this game, because now I do think they might have to eco the next round. Let's have a look at their money. Yeah, they are going to have to eco on the next round, guys. So, because I need uh, one more round. Let's get that one for the 15 match point. And at the moment, it looks possible. Coron onto Tarantula and Mu with the option onto Spy Leader. Looking good, looking good. But of course, for my prediction to be correct, I need Bulgaria to get another two rounds on the board, which to be honest, at the moment looks impossible. They went for that, uh, well, they bought everything they could really. Bubble got a Famas, MN Comp has a Famas, and Spectre got that M4. But, uh, you know, the AK 47s and the Orps of Zakistan uh, are just. Blown through Bulgaria, bubble and exit frag, and again we have this four, this very strange four-on-one uh, situation for Bulgaria. And bubble, I think he was listening to the stream or something. He didn't save. He knew he had to go for it. Now Kazakhstan have got match point, and considering they were 12-3 down, guys, in the first half, 12-3 down. There's 12 rounds to Bulgaria. Uh, no, 11, 11, four. Sorry, 11, four, 11 rounds to Bulgaria and four rounds to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan are now on 11 rounds. All they need is one more round and they will win this game. And we have a pause. Is it strategic pause? No, Go TV's back. It was a Go TV uh, bug. So, Bubble to get a headshot whilst Go TV messed up there. But hey, we've got four pharmacies and an M4 versus three AKs and an AWP. So, it, you know, that AWP by itself can sometimes equivalent to having an extra man on your team. So how Kazakhstan going to go into this now? Adren's made the push into mid to B and he's surrounded from his right and from his left. But Mu will get that important frag onto Spy Leader 4 versus 4 now. Come on guys, let's be having you. Come on Kazakhstan. Mu's made his way already onto that A bomb site. Rafa going low as an Adren at the top of mid. <laughs> Kazakhstan is all over the place at the moment. They are a man down. And I think they've lost the bomb. Ah, Rafa's finally. He's picked up the bomb. He's picked up the bomb. He's making his way down to lowers. But Spectre can hear him. He's awaiting him. Down there at double doors. Rafa's going to make his way up mid. He's flashed double doors. And Rafa's on short. Which is something we can confirm. And Moo onto Spe onto What's he called again? Spectre. So, three versus two. Tarantula managed to take down Moo in CT spawn. As Adren takes on MN Cop. And now uh, Tarantula's heard the bomb going down, and now it's a game of cat and mouse. Two versus two. Tarantula's the last man standing. Hopefully, one of the Kazakhstani players will have called that. The last guy, Tarantula, I saw Tarantula, he was in CT spawn, so now surely only a matter of time, and they are surrounding him. And the comeback from Kazakhstan indeed became a reality. 16 <laughs> 13. I said that Kazakhstan needed 12 rounds in this second half, and well, guys, they pulled it off. Kazakhstan are gonna emerge victorious 12 no not 12 yeah no 2 1 overall against Bulgaria and that of course means Bulgaria are now out of the CSGO European Championships so as always guys um, uh, please follow me on Twitch uh, for the sake of uh, Moo's awesome scout and uh, if you want, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me on YouTube as well. The links are all down below under the stream. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.